good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Excuse me, let me get this mic set up. Uh, shout out, shout out, big shout out this morning to Glenn Fish Bachelor. Right here, my niggas. This dude made that song that you just heard. It's really cool, we called it the uh, Squ Scorpion Wrestler. He made that himself, that's his own music. Guy's real talented. He, uh, he made that song for me. So shout out. I played the whole thing. Um, really thoughtful, really cool. Um, why is my... Yeah, here we are. Oh, yeah, Vox. 51%. That's nice. That's very nice. Believe me, the reason I love uh, let's go ahead and go over the market real quick. I just wanted to bring that one up because you know after all the gains and after all that, people might have forgot that I told people to buy Vox two days ago. I'm just hey, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing out. I know, I know it's not triple digit. I know it's not 151, right? People are like, Dan, why are you even showing this? That ain't 3,000%. If it ain't 3,000%, it ain't even worth talking about, Dan. I understand. But, you know, the more my money grows, the more big boy it gets. These 51% are uh, really fucking nice to wake up to. So, yeah, especially in this, uh, this dead climate when there's not shit going on, right? Like during the great depression, I was able to bink out what 150 percenter in one night and then a 51, almost 52 percenter in a day and a half during the dead season. I'll take that. I will take that. Let's go over and mark it real quick. Um, yeah, I mean, Bitcoin rebounded. It got a few points lower than I thought it would. But there's also some fucking cyber attack that uh, knocked out Coinbase and another exchange when it was at its peak, right? So, and then I, what did I tell you? I told Ethereum was going to die back down because the traders stopped fucking with it because it went to 400 and now it's stable, right? <clears throat> Notice there the Bitcoin crash that this thing didn't go crashing too down because they had shot up for 400 for the first time ever in a very long, like ever. And it didn't stay there long and it went, you know, went right back to where it was. This 300 is a new number though, guys. Like it wasn't into 300s for a long time now. Like what, a week? Maybe two? I don't know. The time really flies right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's been a week, but it doesn't feel like a week. And, you know, as you can see, the big vagina, the that's what got all the traders out. So now, traders out. now all you have are the people who are, you know, still in the Ethereum ICOs, right? So they have to have their Ethereum. They don't want to sell their Ethereum and then have to buy it back later. So they bought their Ethereum cheap for a reason. So the Ethereum is still going to be a float. But like I, rec I, like I said, I thought there was going to be a crash after EOS with Ethereum. We shall see. Bitcoin is Bitcoin, guys. They both took vagina dips, but it's okay because we are back. And it was a good time to buy Bitcoin, obviously, if you could have, lucky bastards. Um, I wasn't able to get any more in time. I was able to get a little bit more, but, um, you know, when I deal with a bunch of sharks, when I'm buying my Bitcoin, right? And when the Bitcoin takes a big dip, you know, those people aren't looking to sell. They're looking to buy. So when I went to the chat room, now, you would have thought going into most places where Bitcoin is being sold, people are wanting to get rid of it because it's a panic because it's dipping. Right when you go into a shark, when you play poker and, you, and you're up against, you know, and you're trying to buy Bitcoin off other poker players, they're all trying to buy. It was like a, it was like Black Friday. Everyone was trying to buy Bitcoin during that dip, so I wasn't able to get a lot. Um, yeah, it looks like Iota's kind of uh, doing this thing. I don't know why. I don't really want to talk about it just because I got into it and I got out of it. It was just a, a bunch of hype. It was just amazing how it. Uh, How it just landed in the top 10. That's absurd. I don't, I still don't understand. But, you know. <clears throat> Let's 
Steam took a hit to two dollars, kind of staying clear. It looks like see, I mean, see, a coin is like, hey, see, a coin needs to get back. You know, it needs to get into the two, three cents already. Um, although, see, a coin behind the scenes has been one of my biggest hitters because it's so you know i've been able to make so much money off of it um off the dips and right raises like it just does this all the time and it swings so it's you know it swings 15 20 points a day usually and that's good you know because that means i'm making 15 20 points a day right if there's a swing you better believe that dan is making money off of it um you gotta set your lures guys you gotta set your bobbers you gotta be able to take advantage you don't just sit idly by right you don't sit idly by the markets, people would love, like the stock market, this would be a dream to have this kind of up and down like this, like 20 point swings in a day, like with still the security of the company not going down, not going under, right? Like I'm not worried about Sia coin going under and therefore I can ride these swings. Um, Lumens is looming down. That's fine. I don't even really care. I, I'm just, like it's a nest egg mode for me. It's not like it's a big deal, and I could still sell it for a profit right now, a USD profit, not a Bitcoin profit, which is a big fucking deal. Plus, I wouldn't sell it for a uh, Bitcoin or a USD profit at this moment because I invested too much time into it. Too much time. This thing needs to go to fucking into this category before I start thinking about selling it. Yeah, everything took a swift bounce back. Um, there's, you know, now this is the market. This is what the market usually looks like. You have some up and you got some down. You got some up and you got some down. Right? That's why it's beautiful to be diversified. That way, you know, like, man, I was able to fucking bink some of basic attention token because it fucking went on that spike. And, um, and I was able to bink some more when it dipped. It's just it's fucking easy. Easy game. Um, what are we doing? I know this one took a hit. I mean, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It's too early. It's too early for this. We don't need this. That's what people like to do. They like to reinvent the wheel before the shit's even got rolling. See what I'm saying? I'm trying to reinvent the wheel and the wheel's not even rolling yet. Let the wheel roll before you improve it. You can't improve it if you don't even know what needs to be improved. You think you need you think you know what needs to be improved. You think super security. And all that, it's like, nah, there's a lot of other things that need to be, you know, we need to get out, you know, you need to get the crypto image down. You need to get everyone knowing what cryptocurrencies is. Like, we're trying to perfect it before it's even made it. It's like, you know, we, we, we haven't made it yet, guys. We're well on our way. We're on our way. We're in the playoffs now. We're in the playoffs. We're in some heavy, heavy, important games now. Each day that goes by now is very important. More and more people are, are going to not be able to ignore. You see, there's a rich people who ignored it, but they kind of have to ignore it because they talk bad about it. And now they don't want to look bad because they already have a ton of money so they can afford to miss out on stuff. That's why, you know, people like Mark Cuban, all these people, you know, Mark Cuban at first said that um, he thought it was bad. And then he said, well, blockchain technology has a place. And then, you know, he's going to fucking start to say like, oh, well, you know, I guess it's not that bad. Um, the point is more and more people are starting to know about it. I want my damn storage coins. I fucking ordered those. It's been a while now. Now I'm in complaint mode. After this, I'm sending in a complaint email. This is some bullshit. I want my, I want my storage coins. They were at a dollar 50 at one point. I could have sold them. I really don't want the storage. Coin. I think it's going to do great things. But I'm so diversified right now that the last thing I need is to throw another moving part. Although I do think this is going to be big. Yeah. Um, we trust. I even own some we trust. Because I trust. Um, buying digital note if it dips into the threes. I, even, I mean, I have lures out. If it did ever dip into the threes, then I already got some. But we'll see. Um. No, I don't think it did. Um, I mean, I have lures out there, and as long as the price of Bitcoin hasn't moved, I don't need to check them, right? And if I caught something, I caught something. I check them every day, but I don't need to, like, you know, be obsessive about them. Like, I might have some some coin right now that I don't know I have because I was out fishing. I need to go check my lures. I check my I check my lures every day. 
See if they're still there. Skycoin. I do it while looking at the Skycoin. <clears throat> there are so many coins. This is making my job much more interesting. Skycoin. And then it shows a dark sky in a city. Why don't you just show the sky, assholes? Why did you this? You showed the worst sky you could show. Why is it? That's bad. The Skycoin block trust standard based. You know, this is what I do, guys. You know, you're just being, you're just hanging with Dan right now. We're just, we're just chilling, going over the market, looking at some gainers, seeing what they're about. That's pretty cool. It just comes at you like a cloud. Oh, Skycoin. I got the Slack, Cryptopia. Oh yeah, how it works. That's pretty nice. Let's see. Okay, so they got some kind of new thing. It's not proof of work or proof of stake. Don't tell me it's like money though. Tell me it has something to do like it saves rain clouds or some shit in Africa. Sky BitTorrent like peer to peer catching. I like BitTorrent. I like BitTorrent. Chanel wallet. Um I mean guys, it just needs to tell me if it's money or not. I think it's just a way to pay people. A different way to pay people. No, no, okay, let's see what's going on. This is complicated. Hmm. <laughs> how to get I do like that at the very bottom it says how to get Skycoin because I'll go to some of these websites and I'll know how to buy the coin before I know what the fuck the coin is. I hate that. It just if that happens to me, if I ever go to a website where I'm looking at a coin and I somehow learn how to buy the coin before I know what the coin is, I'm pissed. And I automatically have a bias towards that coin. And the coin's gonna have to woo me even more. It's gonna do something magical, because now I'm pissed. Because I don't like that shit. I think that's just shitty. It's like, tell me what it is. These motherfuckers are telling me what it is. I think they're just saying we are a super cool way to pay. But I'm going to do some more. You know, I'm not trying to fucking break it down right now because this, you know, it's take me an hour. But basically, when it's that complicated, instead of trying to fucking waste time figuring everything out, I'm just going to email them. I'm like, hey, tell me what the fuck this coin does. Like, I'm a three year old. Let me know what it does. I want to know everything. Um,. And then let them just explain it to me, right? Because that's that's the that's the glitch. That's like the cheat code I found. Because these people are every every one of these coins are more than willing to tell you, you know, try to woo you because they want your money. Obviously, they want you to invest. So instead of me spending an hour trying to connect dots and busting, you know, all kinds of different shit out trying to figure everything out, I'm just gonna fucking ask them. You know, why go through the white paper? Say, just tell me what the sky coins about. What am I gonna do? How many clouds in Africa are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? Alright, so four dollar. <clears throat> um, alright, so let me get to my brave browser. Um yeah, box is up. Nice. Where did I Okay, so basically uh, I, uh, I fell asleep uh, messing with basic attention token. Um I remember I was pissed. I forgot to send a lure last night and I was in bed and I was fucking tired and I was like, man, it's all right. You know, I, it's all right. You know, there's a good chance that it's not even going to go that high. There's a good chance it's not even going to go that high because that's a big ass number. So, you know what? I'm just going to lay my ass down and go to sleep. I was tired. I was next to my girlfriend. It was warm. I didn't want to move. Um, you know, that's, that's the human part. It happens, bros. And what happened? Of course, if fucking hit my lure, I would have hit, right? It hit my first lure. Man, I, I don't give a fuck where I am. I could be in a motherfucking feather bed with Jesus and fucking all the cookies and ice cream and fine women, everything. I don't know why being in a bed with Jesus would be cool. I don't know. The point is, I'm saying it could be a real heavenly experience. I'm still getting about to bed and setting my, my first lure. 
you have to that's money that's money so i hit my first lure and i didn't send my 995 one right because i would have hit it you see i would i would have hit it so um i, I hit you know because i obviously i bought some way down here wait i mean down here too I was buying, dude, I was just so happy buying all the bat all up in here and just sending, you know, saving, saving. I got a large nest egg of this. Um, and then, yeah, I started selling. And I got greedy with it. You can see my first lure was at 89. I bought it at 50, what, 58, 89, right? I'm not, you know, I, I just wasn't trying to fuck around. I, you know, I just figured that, man, I could have set one for 79, but I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm starting to take bigger swings at my first 10%, and I'm missing out some of them, but it's it's also giving me, because right now I sold here, right? I sold around in here, right? I can already right now buy some more for profit or buy some more right here and then resell on the high. But, I, you know, you also have to make 100, you know, you have to make sure that you don't buy too it's real delicate when you're buying because you don't you want to buy high enough so you set your floor you got to set your floor because if your floor is too low then you fuck yourself on the on on the rebuy period so you don't want to just sell too low you want to sell it at a nice healthy you know like 89 is plenty healthy that's fucking a nice jump and then i you know when this gets down to about around the low, around right here, right? Let's get to around here. That's when I begin to buy. And if it only if it only scrapes right here and it comes back up, that's fine, but I'm going to buy, you know, 10 20% right here. And then it's going to bounce back up and then I'm going to do the same. But what happens is what people do is that I've noticed is they're going to um they, they sell too low. They sell like right here, right? They sell like the 79, like from here. So like, let's say they bought it at like 65 and then they sell it at 79, right? And then it jumps again. They sell it some more right here. And then look, you see, you can't even get back in on that dip, right? Cause I got in on this. Dip. I fucking sold up here and sold down here. You know, I sell this on, I sell bat, um, basically I'm going to sell bat on usually Bitrix or that lit, that Liki, that Liki site. Um, both of those people buy the bat for, for high amounts. So always, um, make sure the trend for the day when you're, when you're buying and selling, right? So before you even start buying and selling, you want to check the prices on all the exchanges. So you might want to be buying, you know, on one website and selling on the other. When you're talking about just setting up a trend, because you'll notice a trend, right? You'll go there and you'll see like, you'll see like the 24 hour uh, sales and you'll compare them to Bitrix or whatever site you're on. And you'll realize, oh, hey, man, this one's been way under, the, you know, the, for over 24 hours. You know, I can then draw from that in the next 24 hours. It's probably going to be a little bit lower too, right? And that fucking adds up. So if you're buying them on one website and then send them over to bit on you know the higher site to sell them so that's how you should be doing you know you fuck with your bitcoin you move your bitcoin around get yourself set up for the day make sure the fees make sure you're moving enough to make it worth it if you're moving to one of these other websites that's uh you know check the withdrawal fees bitrix they don't they don't charge a withdrawal fee there's no withdrawal fee that's why it's beautiful to fuck with this website there's other websites that don't charge withdrawal fees some do some charge anywhere from a dollar or two so you want to make sure that it's worth it and the only way it's gonna be worth it is if there's a big price gap or you're fucking with a lot of money if you're fucking with a lot of money that one two dollars becomes nothing um and it, it don't even have to be like a lot a lot of money but i'm talking about like more than a thousand dollars or something like because if you're fucking with a hundred dollars and you're hitting with these withdrawal fees and these transfer fees you end up um it ends up biting out of your profit and um hey man hey if it's gonna make you a little bit more it'll probably still would make you a little bit more fucking with a little bit and that still adds up you know wherever you're at so if you're willing to put in the extra work um to get that little bit of percent then that's fine um i think there could be better things you're doing with your time like studying hustling doing whatever you gotta do because the the fees like i said are gonna eat up at your profit and you'll end up making a lot less 
for um, your time and energy. But I just wanted to um, make that. So, like, if I would have sold it, like, let's say you would have sold it up here, like I did, 89, you could have then bought some more down here. You see what I'm saying? And then you could have sold it again right there. You see, you just you, instead of instead of buying here, selling here, selling here, or so buying here, selling here, selling here, selling out here, and then waiting for it to fucking crash again. Because if you buy it too low and it goes this high, you basically got the bitch. You got you need the bitch to crash before you can get back on this. Now what ends up happening is if you mistime it, what happens is you got to kill this. This floor don't exist no more. That means. If you're fucking with 40%, now you're only fucking with 30%. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, so you're going, you buy here, you, you, you sell here. All right, let's say you fuck up, you sell here. You sell here. Then you sell here, or you sell out here, right? You, you sell the, the 30 to the 40%. So we're doing my rule. The uh, You could do 30, 70, 60, 40, right? The point is to to ride the, 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 ride the ups and the downs, Without losing your nest egg. Because we're fucking with things that can go to other levels that might not come down. They might not come down again. So this coin could go to this level and never come down. And if you sell all your shit, you can't, you're not in the game anymore. You don't get to enjoy this. That's the thing. My saying is you should enjoy, you should, if you have a bad feeling when it's going down, you're not doing it right. If you have a bad feeling when it's going up, you're not doing it right. Right. If you sell out all here and it's going up, it makes you sick to your stomach. You're fucked up. That's not right. You should always at least have something in the bank. Right. So when it goes up, you're happy. You're like, fuck, you know, I made my money here where I was able to invest in other shit. And then I still got my nest egg. Boom. Right. And if it goes down, you're fine. Right. Because you made money and now you can get another opportunity to make more money. So it should be happy when it's going down. Cause you, all right. So like, let's say, it, let's say it rose all the way up here and then it goes down and you feel sick because you're like, man, I could have fucking sold some here and bought some down here. Right. That's what you feel like. That's why it's going to make you feel bad when it goes thing. But if you're like me and you sold up here, when it dips, you're happy. You're like, fuck, I just got another opportunity to make money. Hallelujah. That's why that's good. And if you, all right, so let me get to my point. If you buy down here, this is your floor. And let's say it just keeps going up like this and it never, ever hits this floor again. Then if it, once it gets to a new level, you burn that. You fucked up. That's That becomes a part of your nest egg or not. No, it's not part of your nest egg. It just, it, that's gone. You trash that. Now, let's say you fucking with 30%. All right, we'll, we'll say 40%. You fucking with 40%. You sold 10% here. Then you sold 10 here, then 10, and he sold out the rest here, right? And now... It never comes back here. So now you only have 30% left in your mind that you're messing with. Because this floor doesn't exist anymore. It got built over. It's it's demolished. It's done. So up here, you can still fuck with this. This is your new floor now. You Instead of instead of having 40% you're messing with, you're having 30%. Boom. Once this dips below your new floor, now you're still in the game. You still fuck around. And eventually what's going to happen is, you, you know, after a while, you might get shook out the game, as they say. You know, you get shook out because you uh, your floors end up getting fucked, right? You, if you, it never dips below your floor, you can't rebuy back in. The only way you can rebuy back in is when it hits. All right, so like this happens. So like let's say um, this is after um, you know see the Batman hit. after it, when you let's say this is after a big gain. So this was like a mountainous gain, a new floor, and your floors are way down here, right? And it's been here for a while, and now we're trotting along, and you're like, well, fuck, man, I want to get back in the game. Once you're satisfied that it's hit a new floor, it's on a new plateau, then you can get a re-entry point on a downer. So like, let's say this has been like this for a week and it's just been steady and now this is the new week and this is what's happening, right? And now you're keeping an eye on it, right? Right here. Once it starts to do that little fucking curve, that little boner right here at the bottom, you're going to start buying because that's the indicator that it's going to stop, right? It's going to stop sliding. And right, because if it's ever sharp falling, you never buy during a sharp fall. If you see a fucking red candle, that's when it just fucking turns red and it drops down. Don't, I don't buy during those times because you don't know where that bitch is going. That's an elevator that's broke. Like you don't, that can go to the floor. I've made that mistake before thinking, oh man, I got a panic buy. No, you buy it when, um, when it starts to do this. Yeah, you may pay a few Satoshi more 
right? Because you might miss it at the very thing, but that's fine because the times where it does fall to hell, you're going to, it more than makes up for it. So during the low curve time, that's when you buy. And then you have your new floor, right? Let's say you buy in here with um, 10%. So like, let's say it starts to do a little curve here, 10%, 10%, 10%. Now you're back in and this is your new floor, right? You got, you got your 30 now. Now you're chilling. Uh, you almost want to sell, but you don't, right? You notice the Batman head forming. The Batman heads are very important because they're very frequent. There's frequent things that happen like in nature. Same thing with stocks. You're going to see, I mean, I call them Batman heads because that's what the fuck they look like, but they're, you're going to see them. It's not a vagina. I, I, I hope that's I hope that's not what you think a vagina looks like because damn, that's a fucking gaping vagina. Uh, vagina is a much more like that's almost a vagina, but it's not like uh, you know what I mean. Like there's no vaginas here. No, I can't show you a vagina here, but they have a uh, you know it's they all mean like it may sound funny to you guys, but I created my system like they all mean something. Like I know a Batman head's coming. I can tell my homeboy I'm in the middle of a Batman head, and I could be right here. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of a Batman head. I know I'm in the middle of a Batman head. And I take big fucking swings when I know that, you know? I'll buy down here and I sell all right here. All right here. I'm not telling, don't, you know, this, this is my advanced strategies. You know, what? when I say all, I mean the whole clip minus the nest egg. <laughs> Instead of doing the 10, 10, 10. That's only when I know. But don't, I, <laughs> my main thing is, my main strategy is if I'm not 100%, like, it's not perfect. Like, I'm not Houdini with this shit. It's not magical. It's not second nature. I do the guaranteed shit. The guaranteed shit is what I was just talking about. Um, sell on the highs, try to sell them up higher. You know, you want your floor as high as possible to catch these dips because you don't know. It's hard. You know, I, I can't explain how I know these things sometimes, right? How I know what it's going to do. It just, it just, I don't know. Just, I see it and it's kind of hard to break it down on paper exactly how I fucking see a Batman head, but I just fucking do, you know? And uh, my advice is not to do that because you're going to end up missing out because you're going to think it's a Batman head and it's going to fucking not be and you're going to sell out all right here right and then you're gonna miss this fucking opportunity so don't do that i wouldn't that's my advice or like i don't i don't give advice but if i was me and i didn't know what the batman heads were meant like if i if i wasn't down with all this shit then i would just fucking stick to my basic foolproof strategy that's that's what i do but um Talking about no limit coin. So obviously he's had the, the, the team has had a onslaught of orders. Like zombies at the door trying to break shit down. And right now, um what's gonna happen is basically he's the, the team is seeing how much more they can like what they absolutely positively need for the season and what they're willing to sell because they need to have at least enough to run the season. So the, the last bit, there might be a last little bit that's sold between now and Monday there, you know, once everything gets organized, they're still fucking filing the last of the orders. So once all that's done, then it's done forever. Then you're not going to be able to buy from the exchange anymore or from the site anymore. Once they sell it, then it's done because then they absolutely 100% need to run the game, um, have the coins to preserve to run the game. And then it's going to go to the exchanges. And we're about to hit Bitrix and a few other exchanges. Um, join the Slack group to support. And... Let me check my balance. Okay, it's looking a little better. Time to cash out some. That Vox is looking nice. 73%, bros. The Vox is up 73%. Just skyrocketing. That's fucking awesome. Um, Man, did I sell some Vox? I think I did. I think I sold some of my 10%. I'm kind of mad I did because I think this is about to go to another floor. Um, I'm going to buy it back if I did. Let's see. Yeah, I did. Um, I don't like that. 
Yeah, I don't like the fact that I see I set my floor too low here. I don't know why I did that. That's let's see. Um It's not gonna be enough. Twenty three percent. Yeah, I guess it's I would like to see it more like this. I'd like to see it more about 30%, maybe even higher, um, 43%. No, I think 30% is good for your first floor. I think 30% is good. I sold it a tad bit under. What did I sell that? Yeah, see what I mean? It wasn't much, but still, I mean, look what it's going for now. I don't know why I did that. That was weird. It was probably during the, I think I did it during the crash and, uh, hmm. Vox wasn't doing shit. And then I was like, whoa, uh, I don't know. I'm just agitated. I don't like messing up. I, I, it was just a misplaced lure. I got so much shit going on all over the place. I fucking forgot about to recheck my box lures because I 100% would have not sold even 2,500 for that much. But I mean, obviously, I mean, not, and I, I'm not being results oriented right now. I knew this was going to happen. That's why I made the videos. I don't fucking, you know, I just know this shit. How do you know, Dan? I don't know. I just know. I don't know how I know. I just know. You know? All right, I'm about to cut the session. Um, join the Steam It Guild if you haven't. Um, just ask in the comments. Somebody's going to hook you up. And what else? Join the Slack group for the No Limit Coin if you have invested. Um, once it's all sold out, the price is going to raise dramatically. We're going to get it on more exchanges. Um, if you want to help out, there's a bounty system. You can be able to help out and get some coin and really take this coin to the next level. Everything we can do to pick this fucking coin up and put it on and take it to glory, we're going to do because we can sit back and say, hey, you know, I invested. I'm just going to see what happens. Or we can actually take a progressive approach. And you can see I'm one person. I'm one person. But what, you know, I was able to take a little coin dead in the water and give it life. And not to say that it's dead in the water, but to say like, to show the what we can do over the coin. Like, the coin was going to raise on its own whether it came or not. Whether it would it have raised when it did? Probably not. But would it have raised when the new NFL game came out? Yeah. Right? Would it have raised when it eventually has sold out of coins? Yeah. Would it have raised when it got on other exchanges? Yeah. See, that's the questions I ask myself. I say, okay, why would this coin raise in the immediate future? Okay, one, it's on one exchange. Okay, so that makes sense. So once it gets on more exchanges, it's going to raise in price, right? That makes sense. All right. Um, well, let me uh, uh, talk about no limit coin. Um, I am moving my coin to the wallet to for staking, but... Um, I just buy... I just use my Yobit exchange wallet when I first bought it because this is when I, you know, I, I, I bought it at first on the exchanges before I even knew you could buy it on the site. I, I bought it, you know, a week ago, over a week ago. Um, I was day trading it fucking around. I made a profit. I bought it at 13. I originally bought it at 13. 
And then I sold it at 17 and 19. You know, it's fucking like 40. And I bought some more at 21 now. So, um, I bought some more at 20 and 21. So, and then just recently I bought some more at like 35 or whatever. So, and whatever happens on Monday, I'm going to buy at least, I'm going to probably buy at least two or three more million on Monday. So that's going to be like a fourth of them gone Monday too. And I'm sorry, bros, but like, you know, if I can, you know, I want some fucking coin too. What can I do? Just get on it. You know, I'm not, I'm not buying it all. And I'm sure somebody else is going to buy two or three coins. Hell, somebody might buy more. So, you know, um, I have no control over that. I can't be like, well, I'll take 1 million. So there's more coin for everybody. And then some fucking asshole King Kong guy comes and buys, you know, five mil. Like, you know, I have no power over that. So I'm not putting myself in that situation. I'm just going to buy however many I fucking want. And I want two and a half to three more million. Um, I hope what's happening now, what I think is going to happen is the price is going to stay artificially low until it's sold out. Right, because every everyone who wants to buy a guap is waiting because they can get more in bulk at a much cheaper price. Because you try to buy in bulk now, you're gonna buy through the walls and you're gonna end up spending a lot more than if you were just to buy it through the site. And people aren't dumb; they recognize this. So what all you have are the desperate. So the people buying off of Yobit right now are the people who are super desperate and people who are organic, just coming, seeing the coin. And people who are on the website playing on the on the games. Those are the people who are be buying at this price because they either don't know that buy it through the website, right? A lot of people don't, unless you're like play the game. Like if you play the actual fantasy sports games, then you probably know. But like if you're just trading it, you just see it on Yobit, you probably don't know to buy it off the website. So you know, people just buy it through Yobit and they don't know they're getting upcharged a lot. You know, they're fucking themselves. But that's fine. So I think the price is just going to be dead in the water at what it is um, until all of them are sold out. And then once people realize, okay, can't buy it from the exchange anymore, then the fear of missing out will occur. I always feel naked when um, people get to see my desktop. So, um, let me see. Yeah, so basically, I think the price is going to stay where it is right here. Because <clears throat> people aren't trying to raise this price. None of my viewers are going to be buying it from Yobit, I don't think. I mean, they might. You can do what you want. I'm not, like I said, I don't give advice. I'm not buying it off of Yobit. As, not as long as there's more to be bought later on. That's for damn sure. So, we'll see how that plays out. Fortunately, you know, I'm going to know before anybody else. I have that luxury. So, as soon as I know, I'm going to go buy my 2.5 million. And then I'm going to immediately let everyone in the Slack group. Because So, whoever's in the Slack group, the No Limit Coin Slack group, right? Unofficial slash official. You know what I'm saying? Gets to know first. They get to know first. Because they're actually putting in the effort to join the no slack, the no limit coin group, you know, make a difference in this coin. And so they're going to get the benefit of knowing when the coins come first. And then after they know, I'm going to make my, uh, my YouTube video, letting everybody else know. And that's going to be that. I don't know how many coins are left. It might be like an odd number. It might be like 12 million, 700. I don't know how many coins are going to be left for sale. Last time, last reopening, there was only 10 million. Because the thing is, they, they didn't expect the kind of volume. So now they're, they have to, you know, do all the accounting and make sure, like, do all the math. They have to make sure from the football season, um, like, everything they fucking need to operate. And... It's not going to be much. It might be like 5,000 or 5 million coins. Like it might not be much at all. So, you know, it might be 2 million coins. And if that's the case, GG, um, those are mine. But I don't, know. I don't know. I don't like speaking on things I don't know. So um, as soon as I know, the folks in the Slack group are going to know. And then everyone else will know. 
Um, if you paid in USD, you just have to fucking wait a little bit. I'm sorry, just what it is. Like you know, it's gonna be today. Um, he's you know the the they're filling out the last little orders. Just the USD takes longer. Just what it is. You know, everyone knows fiat money slow as fucking turtle balls. So I'm gonna call it here. Um, very soft weekend for poker. Oh wow, she took a nice red dip. So that's a red candlestick right there. Although, okay, yeah, so it went from 48 to about 43. Um, those are, you know, those are what traders live for. I've been sleeping because, not like sleeping literally, but like I need to uh, tighten up my trading games, tighten up my lures. You know, I'm coming over here finding old ass lures. Like when I come up and I see this, and I see the price, what it is, and I don't see that I got more sales, and I see I set before. That's like me coming up to the to the lure, and there's like a dead fish on the lure because I, I hadn't checked it in so long that the fish actually died, right? And nobody wants a dead rotten fish, so this is dead rotten fish to me right now. All right, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna go tighten up all my lures, make sure my games my games tight, and uh, um, yeah, look out for an update. You never know what's gonna happen. I could be like, monkey coin, buy monkey coin. You never know. Monkey coin could be next. Peace. Adios. Cheers. Later.